Good morning guys, welcome back. I hope that you absolutely liked the hike that we did at the Mosul in Germany last week because it was awesome. You saw the video yesterday and in that video you saw me eating um, apple snacks, dried apple dehydrated apple cinnamon snacks. And in this video I would like to show you how you can make them. It is super easy. So what do you need for this backpacking snack? You obviously need apples. You can choose whatever kind of apple you like by yourself. I prefer pink ladies, so I use pink ladies. Use some cinnamon. You can also make them without, but I like the flavor of the cinnamon. And if you want to, you can add some lemon juice. Some people say you need it to avoid that the apples are turning brown. But my experience is that if you walk a little bit quickly, you peel them, cut them, and you put them in your dehydrator, then you do not need it. So I'll skip that part. Um, so what I am going to do first is I'm going to peel the apples and then I'm going to slice them up. You can slice the apples in whatever size you want, uh, slices, pieces. Just make sure that you do not make them too thick because then they will take longer to dry. And how, how thinner they are, the quicker they are done. If you start cutting your apples, always make sure, of course, I think it's clear, but never a problem to mention it, that you take the core and the seeds out. So this is usually how thick I leave my apple slices. I have cut them in slices and I'm going to cut the slices in half. So then I'm ending up with small pieces like this. So once you've cut your apples in the desired sizes and shapes, you can add cinnamon. And of course, that is always to your liking. Be aware that if you are putting food in a food dehydrator, that the flavors always go a little bit bland during dehydrating. So you can be a little bit more heavy on spices and seasoning when you are putting anything in your dehydrator. So make sure to evenly divide it so you will not end up with a whole mouthful of cinnamon. Because that's usually not that nice. It's like an apple pie filling. It smells like an apple pie filling as well, I must say. <laughs> so, that'll do for me. Now we're going to divide them into the dehydrator trays. You can decide to put parchment paper or lining sheets onto your uh, dehydrator trays, but because this is a bigger snack, and of course, there's no fluid coming off that's leaking because the apples won't get wet in the dryer. That is not 100% necessary, but that is up to you. It also depends a little bit on what else you're drying on your dehydrator trays. But for me, it is fine to just put them on like this. So I'm having my two trays here. I'm going to put those in the dehydrator. Uh, there's no meat involved or something, so you can put the temperature up on 70 degrees Celsius. And they will probably need about six to seven hours usually. So we'll see you then. We are seven and a half hours later and this is the result. As you can hear, nicely dried pieces of apple. Let me show you in a close up. And with this snack, it's not that you're ending up with a crispy snack, it is more of a a chewy snack so you won't hear it and it's so good if you make sure that they are completely dried and then you store them in an airtight uh, box that set you close these will stay good for months so you can prepare in advance if you're doing a long distance hike or a true hike and then you will have your homemade snacks throughout the whole tray because they last really long. If you are afraid of the uh, time that you can store them, you can always put your dehydrated stuff in the freezer. But my experience is I've never done that and I never had any troubles with it. So I'm going to enjoy this one in the upcoming season. So this is definitely one of my favorite backpacking snacks when I'm dehydrating my own backpacking food. And I hope this video was helpful to you that it could give you an idea of how easy how quick and simple it is to make your own backpacking snacks. And there will be more videos coming out throughout the season and I think some of them will be really surprising. So stay tuned for those. And if you like this video, please consider giving me a like, subscribe to the channel and notify the alarm bell. And then as always, enjoy the outdoors. We'll catch you on the next trail. Goodbye.